All right, so let's bring in the Alabama head coach. I saw where you've been in uh, one movie, Blindside, but you didn't really have to act outside of just being yourself, right? No, that was pretty easy. You know, just <laughs> they gave me a script. I said, let me just do it my way, and if you don't like it, we'll do it your way. And they were pleased with it, so it was pretty easy. Were you aware of the story of Blindside? Oh, yeah. Yeah, from recruiting Michael, it, it was um, we understood his background and uh, the kind of person he was, the kind of player he was, and the involvement of the the people, the family, the twoies that uh, sort of helped him along and, uh, you know, created a great opportunity for himself, and he's had a great pro career as well. I wanted to have you on, obviously, a variety of reasons here, but it seems like here we are, May, and I'm reading all these comments, coaches, assistant coaches, the father of an assistant coach. Everybody seems to be talking about you. Uh, I, is this a good thing that they're saying what they're saying? Well, you know, I think people are going to say what they say. I, I, it's a little disappointing when somebody that's worked with you says something because, you know, you'd like to think that if someone's a colleague, they would, you know, if they had an issue or a problem, they they would talk to you about it, which I would appreciate if they did because it would help me get better. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Well, what hurts you the most here? Well, you know, I'm focused on trying to do our job here and what we need to do. And uh, I think sometimes when things go well, you know, we don't always have our best days as human beings. You know, sometimes when things go badly, you know, we're a little more humble, a little more gracious, a little more compassionate, more willing to help other people. And there may be a little bit of that going on here because we've had some success. Do you believe that any publicity is good publicity? To me, yeah. uh, I would rather try to do things the right way, the right time, um, and treat people well. And, um, you know, everybody always remembers how you made them feel. So, you know, that's how I would rather do it. Uh, so I would rather be it for something good or something accomplished uh, in a positive way. Yeah, I was just surprised when, you know, it was Nick Satan. Uh, that's pretty hard stuff, even if somebody's sort of ju- – I mean, is there any humor in that? Is, you know, that – well, I, I think a lot of times people try to be humorous, and, you know, I'd rather not be humorous at the expense of somebody else. That's just me personally. Bob Stoops talked about the SEC, talked about the bottom half of the conference. Um, help me out trying to understand that. What, what was Coach Stoops trying to get at? I don't know. I, I You know, I have a lot of respect for Bob. He's a good friend, and he's done a great job at Oklahoma. And, um, you know, we visit a lot. And I I think it's a little bit the same thing. The SEC has had a lot of success, and, you know, other people, you know, maybe try to either bring themselves up to it or uh, try to make comparisons to it. But it's it's pretty difficult when, you know, we won seven straight national champions, and last year at the end of the season we had six teams in the top ten. So, um, And I know that from playing in this league that there's nobody that we played last year regardless of where they were in the conference, that didn't command a tremendous amount of respect for the players that they had and the program that they had and knew that you had to play your best and bring your A, a game to try to be successful. So um, I have I have a lot of respect for our entire conference. He's Nick Saban, the Alabama head coach. Nick's kids charity has raised over $2.5 million since being at Alabama and rebuilt 15 houses after the tornado. What's next for the charity there, Coach? Well, we just treat, keep trying to help young people. You know, it's kind of my dad's legacy that Nick's kids really stands for in terms of what he tried to do to help young people. And I've just tried to carry it on. Terry and I, my wife and I, have tried to carry it on. And a lot of people support it in the state. We really appreciate it. And I think we've helped a lot of people. Uh, when do you start preparing for Johnny Manziel? Oh, I think that's uh, ongoing around here. Uh, have you already started? Well, we, we always do a little preparation before spring practice against next year's opponents, either that we struggled with or that are new opponents. And uh, we do the same thing in the summer so that we can do it some in fall camp. And, um, you know, A&M's got a really good offense. He's a really good player. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's most difficult to defend, you know, guys like him that ad lib a lot. You know, he makes a lot of plays that are outside of the design of what they're doing. And, 
Um, that's why he's a great player, and that's why we have a tremendous amount of respect for him. But that's you bring up a, an interesting point. If you know what somebody is going to do, it's it's at least it's in front of you, and you can game plan that. When the guy colors outside the lines, how difficult is that as a defensive minded head coach? Of how do you contain him? How do you how do you figure him out? Well, I, I think the most important thing is being creative, like he is. Uh, really requires that your players play with a tremendous amount of discipline. You know, maybe a little more under control than they normally do. Uh, and ha- they have to be really smart about uh, respecting what the guy can do. I mean, if you get pushed by the quarterback, he's going to take off running. Uh, you know, if you play zone and don't match up right and he scrambles, he's going to find somebody open and make a big play. So it really takes a lot of discipline on the, the defensive player's part in areas that are beyond what they usually have to be disciplined in because he extends the play. The role of quarterback. Now, A.J. McCarron is more of that pocket passer. Um, is there a trend? You know, we had the Wildcat offense for a little while in the NFL, and we've gotten away from that. Now it's, you know, the, the veer or this, you know, whatever we're calling this. Um, where do you think we're headed with quarterbacks? Well, you know, I think everybody's got to sort of decide philosophically how they want to use their guy. I, I, we, we've always been a little pro style oriented from the pro background that I have in terms of not wanting to lose your quarterback and uh, try to do things that uh, protect him and uh, allow him to impact and affect your team like that position can. And I think other people have now found ways that are very, very difficult to defend because you add another element of attack, run, move the point of attack on the run with the quarterback. Uh, but the, the downside of that is is can those guys stay healthy and can they sustain the season? And I think as long as that's the case, um, it's, it's probably a trend that a lot of people feel like they don't have to have quite as good of players if you have a quarterback like that who can make those kind of plays. Going on vacation? Uh, not till the middle of June. <laughs> okay. But we, we, we go, you know, we enjoy the family time at the lake, and, you know, it's a great time for our family. It's been a salvation for, you know, our kids and their associations and their friends to have a place to go that they can call home no matter where this business sort of takes you. Is there a place you can go where you're not recognized? Uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm not recognized, but I think, you know, when we go to the lake in Georgia, Lake Burton, um, people are very respectful and, uh, have a lot of good relationships, a lot of good friends there. And even the Georgia fans, uh, Georgia fans are great. You know, <laughs> they're, 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 they're good. Uh, they're respectful. You know, that's, I respect the, the opposition in our league and I respect their fans and, um, and and they they have been very respectful of us, you know, of residents as residents of their community. So, um, you know, it, it's I enjoy it. Better to have a lake house closer to Georgia than Auburn, right? Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Coach. We appreciate it. Hi, Dan. Have All a right, good day. that's uh, Nick you. Saban. <laughs> Going to Georgia. Yeah, that fans are nice. Okay. Probably so. Ha, 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 ha.